bracelet smartphones that you should know about. We have seen technology introduce different innovations that we couldn't imagine years before. Now we have smartphones that can be worn like wristbands or bracelets. And I'm not talking smartwatches. Emo Pulse Smile. Since it came out in the news in 2013, we haven't seen one, but we have seen videos. The Emo Pulse Smile is promised to be a personal assistant, a smartphone, and a smartwatch. With the help of AI, the phone will have a personality and be able to communicate with its user. Only challenge is that the phone is set to run on Linux. Secret Bracelet The Secret smartphone is different from other bracelet phones. It's a small wristband smartphone that projects the display screen on the user's hand. At least that's the concept that we saw on the Secret YouTube channel, which was put out since October 2014. The phone is said to have everything normal smartphones have – NFC, Wi-Fi, USB port, and other features. The display screen will be initiated when users flicker their hand and will be able to make calls, send and read emails, even play games. We are waiting for the secret team to launch the futuristic phone. Lenovo C+. In June 2016, at Lenovo Tech World event, they unveiled a working prototype of their bracelet smartphone. The smartphone is called Lenovo C+. It works on Android OS, and it looks everything like a common Android smartphone, but also bendable. They are yet to put the phones out for sale, but hopefully they will this year. Kyocera Proteus The Japanese company Kyocera has been working on making a bendable phone since 2009. That's a long time coming. They reached success in 2014 when they unveiled the prototype of Proteus at SeaTech, which is Japanese biggest tech event. Proteus can be worn like a bracelet and can also be fixed on a bicycle handlebar like a bike PC. A Rubik's Portal A Rubik's Portal seemed to be the closest we are to having a soon-to-be-made commercial wearable smartphone. They broke out with this device in 2014 and have been different upgrades, up to Upgrade X, which was talked about last year on the Arubik's YouTube channel. The portal has all the features you would find on high-end smartphones, including shatterproof, water-resistant, and wireless charging. Moxie Of all the bracelet smartphones we have seen and heard about, the Chinese company Moxie Group is the most impressive yet. Well, not for the features on the phone, but because they already have consumer-ready copies of the smartphone. In 2016, the startup promised to ship, ship 100,000 copies of the smartphone to consumers. Only glitch is that the smartphone was in black and white display, and it's expensive. It cost 5,000 yen, $760. However, Moxie Group have promised to release a colored version this year, and we can't wait. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, leave a comment telling us which one you will buy, and subscribe to our channel.